Good morning, everyone. As the sun is still rising uh, here in uh, Gary, I just uh, want to say uh, wishing you well on this uh, February the 15th. I emphasize that it's February the 15th, the day after uh, Valentine's Day, because uh, uh, yesterday we spent uh, time thinking about, about love. Uh, because uh, Valentine uh, points us to that. Uh, the reason why uh, we uh, think about the love on Valentine's Day is because of Valentine, who was priest from Trini, and uh, he uh, uh, sadly gave his uh, last measure of devotion on uh, February the 14th. He was uh, martyred on that day for his faith. He was a real hero of the faith. He uh, ministered faithfully to persecuted uh, Christians uh, in uh, in his uh, hometown and also in that region of uh, where he uh, was serving. And uh, as he uh, did that faithful work, he uh, uh, paid the highest price and uh, was uh, killed and buried on February the 14th. Now that's the, I guess, in a sense, the, the sad part of the story. The good part about the story is that uh, uh, Valentine, who uh, has uh, long been associated with, uh, with courtly love, and uh, as a side, he's also uh, long been associated with beekeepers. Uh, for all uh, the beekeepers out there, uh, Valentine's your guy. Uh, but uh, he's uh, long been associated with, uh, with courtly love, as it's called, or romance. Uh, because of the uh, uh, the connections that he has had with that so on Valentine's Day on February the 14th on that significant day in history uh, we remind ourselves about love I want to uh, push that a little bit further though because uh, uh, love between uh, between a man and a woman of course is uh, is a, a wonderful thing that God has created uh, but uh, when we speak of love uh, we ought to think more deeply uh, than than just that. We ought to think uh, to the uh, the love of our Father for us, as shown to us through Jesus Christ. And uh, there's a, a section right at near the end of uh, Romans three uh, that stands out to me. And uh, in it, uh, we're told that uh, uh, we uh, then nullify. We do we then nullify the law by faith? Uh, a question that uh, Paul asks, and then, of course, the, uh, the obvious answer is absolutely not. We don't nullify the law by faith. Uh, we uphold the law by faith. Uh, and uh, as uh, we're reminded by Paul there, we're reminded as well of uh, the, uh, what Jesus Christ has done and how through Jesus Christ we have new life uh, through him. Uh, that as we put our trust in Jesus, uh, we are, are saved. And uh, in that, uh, we're reminded of the words of our Lord Jesus Christ, that we are to be people who love, uh, love uh, God with the entirety of our being and love our neighbor as ourself. Uh, Jesus also told us that uh, the people around us will know that we are followers of Jesus Christ. Uh, they'll know that we are Christians by our love. And so as we love each other, as uh, we love God, uh, we show that uh, we are saved people and thereby we show that uh, we are people of faith, faith in Jesus Christ. And as we trust in our Lord Jesus Christ, we don't abolish the law, we uphold the law. The law that says, as uh, the command that has been given to us, that we should be people who love, love uh, the way the Father does with uh, and uh, love with that uh, undying love that has been shown to us first by our Father in heaven. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Uh, this uh, day after uh, we remind ourselves about love, uh, and let's keep uh, in mind uh, throughout the day that uh, each day we are called upon to be people who love as uh, Jesus has shown his love to us. Uh, God bless you.